Explaining the difference between stainless steel and carbon steel starts with an experiment on wet corrosion. These three test tubes contain pieces of carbon steel and these contain pieces of stainless steel. Stirring dissolves air in this cold water. The aerated water is then poured into one of the test tubes containing carbon steel and into one containing stainless steel. Air is being removed from this water by boiling it. This time the test tubes are filled to the top so that no air is left inside. The tops are also sealed to prevent any air entering. Nothing is added to the last two test tubes. Only the carbon steel in the test tube containing both air and water goes rusty. This is because wet corrosion is an electrochemical process that requires both water and oxygen. If a piece of steel is put into aerated water, some iron atoms dissolve to form positively charged particles called ions. When this happens, the electrons left behind move through the steel to places where they can react with oxygen and water to form hydroxyl ions. These then react with the iron ions to form hydrated iron oxide. Rust. But hydrated iron oxide doesn't protect the steel, so the corrosion continues. Because boiled water doesn't contain oxygen, the hydroxyl reaction can't occur. Hydrated iron oxide can't form. And the carbon steel doesn't go rusty. A simplified explanation of why stainless steel doesn't go rusty is because the chromium atoms on its surface preferentially oxidize to form a layer that prevents any further ionization and so stops corrosion. This layer is called the passive film. If it is removed, any chromium atoms in this region react to remake a new passive film and the protection continues. So this makes stainless steel particularly useful where abrasion occurs in industry or in everyday applications like this.